All right, this is that 2006 Lexus LX470 I purchased from Chariot Kings. I paid $27,000 for this vehicle, expecting pristine vehicle. And while pictures and videos do show it as pristine, uh, there are a lot of issues that were not disclosed. Um, what was disclosed was the automatic height control deletion, uh, even though that was not on the website. Um, right before sending the $27,000 through King's Chariot, I get a phone call, and uh, that's when they told me about this. I took the night to think about it. I went ahead with it anyway and sent them the money. However, I'm going to show you all of the issues that I see with this vehicle uh, that was passed off as exceptionally clean. I traded or I sold my perfect condition uh, LS uh, 460 uh, to get this vehicle for my family. Um, so I will show you. Mechanically, engine wise, shifting seems okay. Um, when I accelerate, uh, when I give it some full gas, it jerks, the whole car jerks to the right and I get lots of beeping noises. It does leak fuel uh, when running. Um, I noticed that in my driveway. Um, the passenger side mirror motor does not work. That was not disclosed. It's also uh, the mirror does not move. The mirrors do not fold in. And this housing here was cracked. That was not disclosed. Um, somehow, some way, I have water leaking on the inside. Uh, the carpets are soaked. I can't figure out where it's leaking from. I thought maybe it was uh, a drain from uh, the sunroof, um, but I can't figure that out right now. Um, I, I have this here just to see if it's catching water from the top or if it's coming from the bottom. Um, you know, a couple rips in the, in the dash uh, that wasn't shown. Um, there's some lights that don't work. Right here doesn't work. This whole strip here doesn't work. Um, I mean, it's not as clean as it was advertised. Um, got gunk. The seats look good, but they do look maybe they've been painted, which wasn't disclosed. Um, the the carpets are all stained up. Um, gunk in these. Underneath of, of here, it looks like something pink was spilled. Um, this is broken. Um, this is this is broken and cracked and it doesn't sit properly um, one major thing is this windshield is not a Lexus glass uh, it's an aftermarket um, doesn't appear that it was installed properly because there's ri rivets alongside of here that were not uh, riveted in on, on both sides. Uh, probably see them holes there. Also wasn't done very nicely. As you can tell, the, the strip is sitting up. Uh, the moldings, I think they're called. Uh, this side is a lot worse. You see that, it's sitting up, but this is you know, this is, I think this is a minor issue. These are just, you can uh, clean them up and reinstall them. They're just held in with adhesive, I believe. Um, another big issue I noticed today is this spoiler. I mean, it's, it's just sitting here. Now, I did receive this vehicle about a week ago. And, um, you know, I... I don't have time. Uh, it gets dark early here. It, 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 
there's not enough time to sit here and, and uh, you know, look over this vehicle. I really trusted the, the dealer that it was pristine. I figured, yeah, I was paying $27,000. Uh, I thought that kind of guaranteed how pristine it should be. This is broken. All right, there's brackets back here on both sides are broken. Um, what else? But you know, every day I find something new. But this is this is the vehicle. It is clean as far as rust goes. Looks like it's got some Walmart tires on it, which whatever, it's consumable. Uh, but for twenty seven thousand dollars, I didn't want to have to do anything for this. Um, he did. Um, he did replace the CV axles, uh, alternator. He said battery. Um, he did the, uh, you know, because the the HC was deleted and he didn't disclose that to me until I was ready to send the money. It wasn't in his advertisement. I told him, well, he was going to give me about a thousand dollar discount, and he said, well, I don't haggle, and I know I can sell this for twenty seven thousand dollars all day long. And I said, okay. And then he says, well, I consider the a automatic height control delete an option anyway. And I said, well, I was getting this for my family. And, uh, you know, I wanted a, an unmolested vehicle. I don't even know what suspension is on it. But anyway, it does not handle very well. Um, and, yeah, some of you wanted to see exactly what you get from Chariot Kings. And you got to be got to be careful um, I would recommend uh, seeing your vehicles in person despite you know videos and, and close-up pictures because you don't see stuff like that or that um, or that uh, there's cracked headlights and I, I understand about the age but Again, $27,000. I expect more than this. Right? I mean, he showed me all these all these uh, pictures and videos. But, you know, he's, he's so fast with showing. He doesn't really give you a chance to see. You know? Um, these shocks... These shocks here need to be replaced at some point. They're they're pretty sloppy, but they will hold, which not a big deal. But as far as rust goes, I mean, it is clean. You know, you stand and look at this thing from, you know, 10, 20 feet away, and it does look good. It does look clean, but I don't expect water to be entering the vehicle. Uh, and some of the other things mentioned in this video. But, yep, that's all. I don't know if this video fit on Facebook or anywhere, but I'll try and post it somewhere. Thanks.